Uh, testing, testing, one, two, three, guys. I'm going to get Anna going on to the Right, good evening everybody and welcome to the fan zone. Um, we have no idea why we are. Right, good evening everybody and welcome to the fan zone. Apologies, we have no idea why we are sitting in silence. Right, good evening everybody and welcome to the fan zone. <laughs> Sally! Um, our music is just not playing. It was playing wonderfully when I was doing a sound check and testing out whatever, whatever, whatever and then Lo, lo, lo. Right, Kelly Singh, we see you there. Uncle Mobs, we see you. Um, Kelly Leo's in the house. Good evening to you. Odell is here. Um, Odell Naidu, good evening to you. Anyone else that we need to greet, come on board. So, send a wave, send a shout out, send a star, a heart, exclamation mark, just so that we can see you guys there. Now, hello, Uncle Mark. Marvin. Mm, Uncle hey. Marvin. <laughs> Sharice, we see you there. Good evening to you and welcome to the fan zone. Um, maybe it's, it's a good thing that our music is not working out, but we had such cool songs for you guys. Such Sunday, sun, a Sunday tune. Two Sunday jingles, if I can call it that. Um, there's actually a lot of things that we wanted to do, um, but nothing is working according to plan. As so usual. that's fine. We, we know how to chip the system, we, we, we are used to the Kremlins and all those 101 things that we are faced with during the course of our show. Um, so yes, it is Sunday, welcome to it. Shizzy, we see you there, good evening friend, good evening to your family. Um, guys, we did not stream on Wednesday, we did send a shout out, it was a little bit late, there was a lot of people that were looking for us, so we first and foremost would like to apologize for not appearing on your screen. Um, it's, it's been a long week guys. Um, but over and above that, you guys should know. Tessa, we see you there, me to you. <laughs> but over and above that, you guys should know. When the fan zone does not stream, it means we are extremely, extremely busy. Elizabeth, also good evening to you. Um, it's, Roz and I have been crazy, guys. Um, where some people should be winding down, we use this time to sort out ourselves for next year. Um, and over and above that, we're juggling work and we're juggling our hobbies and our side hustles and yeah. So apologies from that, from our side. Now, from the 25th of November, that was Thursday, we kicked off our 16 days of activism. So you guys, if you guys follow the fans on page, you guys will know that we have been chorusing and we have been shouting this out um i think straight after our shave we we're creating awareness around gender-based violence and we are asking you as our listeners to come on board and assist us with creating this movement M, we see you there good evening to you so guys if you've got some time maybe make it like a family project or or if you don't maybe your colleagues at work would like to join us all we're asking for you guys is to maybe send us an image. Some have sent us videos. Um, you're going to write stop gender-based violence on either hand. Take a picture and then of course send it to us and we can post it. So what we have been doing is since the 25th we have posted all the pictures that have come through on a daily, daily basis. So we are trying, um, we're going to try and cover that over the 16th over the 16 days so we are short of pictures if we get more than 16 pictures it's even better for us because then we can just double it up on maybe a man crush monday or a woman crush wednesday if you ladies or flashback thursday or something to that effect so please we're asking you guys to assist us um and to create this movement this is an annual project of ours mm. um 
Roz has actually got a lady that's lined up to come and speak to us during these 16 days. So we're hoping to get it in the studio on Wednesday. If not, then maybe the following week we need to check out her availability. We're not going to give you too much insight as to what she's about, what does she do, where she's from. Um, Roz will jump into that interview when, when she is available to speak to us. So, Auntie Bev, we see you there. Uh, hello, Mom, and we've got an Angelise Goodwin in the studio this evening. Play it early before the president's vala everything. Okay, so Shizzy, we're going to come back to that. We've got a few things that we guys, would like to speak about. Guys, <laughs> this B11529 has emotionally messed with my mind, messed with so many things. It is just, it's heavy. It is heavy. Is anyone else feeling just heavy? Because I'm just, everything in the media being this new variant, um, Every time you put check on social media or put on the radio, we banned in another country. Um, it's Christmas. Another few countries. Another few countries. We like red listed all over. You wake up in the morning and another country has red listed you. Like, it's heavy. It, like, guys, there are so many people that were going to come home this Christmas because they didn't get a, they couldn't come home last Christmas. So there were so many people that were going to come home this Christmas, see their families. See the grandkids, see their kids, and like, what the, what is going on? I am totally gutted, totally, totally. We are doing so well. We are doing so well. Like last week, last week the some the numbers were like what two hundred. We were doing so well that we actually, we were. I think uh, me personally, I was slipping into um, a normal zone. So whereas, um, but is that not the point? Look, everyone got their own speculations. We're gonna we're gonna go into that. It is a bit of a heavy topic for a Sunday, but I think we just it's heavy. we we would just like to send a shout out to those family members who are going to be with our family members. Look, guys, it's not easy being separated from loved ones. Uncle D, we see you there. Um, good evening to you and welcome to the fan zone. And the Melanie Leo has just walked in. Um, yeah, guys. Look, we've got, okay, Roz got family members who are abroad. Uh, her brother-in-law, to be exact, he jumps into the comments now and again. So her sister and her nieces have been waiting, in fact, their entire family, because it bleeds down to them, Roseanne and her kids, have been waiting to see Lincoln for almost a year. Yeah, he left last year, October. Um, we haven't seen him since last year, October. It was two days after your birthday yeah. or so. So last year, October, my brother-in-law left and he was coming down this December and it's not looking like he's going to get you. Um, Antoinette, Annie, I think that's you, Annie Chitty, we got you in a stream, welcome to it. Um, so yes, I think the people that are expecting people, they have not seen over mm. a lengthy time. In fact, it's, guys, it's tough, being guys. separated from a loved one is, is hectic to say the least, I but I think both. we are feeling it more now because it's festive and it's family time and because they haven't seen each other in, in like a lengthy period, they have planned to do things together, mm -hmm. they have planned to go see places together. Um, Mom was telling me yesterday that one of her close friends, um, Marilyn's kids are actually oh, abroad. Oh, there's he in, the sh Lincoln's just Lincoln, come we in. were just talking about you. Um, Mom's kid, mom's best, one of her best friends, her kids are abroad and she just told me that they were bawling in the salon yesterday because the girls were supposed to come out now. Um, uh, my family member, Karel's family members, they, they, she had family that was Hello. coming down this weekend because they will be attending a family Wedding, wedding next week. I mean, it's just my ears actually standing light through my body. So, guys, we are just there. Um, I know words are really they're gonna seem like absolutely nothing during this time, but we are just once again. I feel like we're in the same situation that we were last year, um, where we're thinking about family that are separated from loved ones. You know, um, so I was reading my niece's my niece's status. What? earlier today and my heart just broke my heart just broke like just one thing one thing like everyone was so excited we were so happy and then poof 
new variants. Like, what the hell? Uncle Marvin, I know that God's got me. And I know that it's, 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 um... Jody, we see you there. Jody, check. I know that we, we shouldn't worry because God is ultimately in control. But it's just a lot. It's a lot because it's all over. It's a lot because it's like you want to do things with your family. It's a lot for us because we were like preparing and very excited to see my brother-in-law because we haven't seen him for the year. And I've got friends that come home in December and we've been waiting. We've been waiting for our people to come home and what? <laughs> It sounded like you were going to start crying. No, it's just not. Hey, my heart is really sore. My heart is really, really sore. Okay, so Lincoln, in the my brother in law we actually were speaking about, it's tough, but we have to keep moving forward by God's grace. Links, we miss you, though. We Once really, again, really, we're in this really situation miss you. Where, you know, seeing you, is, it's like, oh, I, I don't know. But, um... We're thinking of you. I know it's, it's hard. I, I, yeah. You actually don't know if it's, well, most probably harder for you because you by yourself that side. And, but yet we looked, I come from Joanne's house this afternoon and she was so excited that she were coming down. She, she's actually, she, she doesn't even know how to feel. She doesn't know, she doesn't know how to feel. She's like, she, she's just at this point, it's like, no. Nah. She's, but she's going to get to that point where she is, she is just, she's just gutted. We are all gutted. We are gutted. So Beverly, my daughter who lives in Omnen, was home. She went back just in time. Omen. So happy I got to see her after a long time. I'm so happy you did get to see her because it's, it's not going to be a reality for a lot of people. Hi Jody, hi DJ Jody. So, um, so Theo, I'm only worried about still closing December for my birthday. Once again, we in once again. <laughs> I feel like we were here. Yes. Last year, just, this time we, we were just here. Just blinked, and um, we're back in a situation where we don't know what's moving and shaking. Um, yeah. But Roz says Roz read an article just before we got back. Um, because I was saying to her, I actually asked her. What, what is your, like, how do you feel? What do you think? Because normally, well, those will come with s statements and, you know, well, has read about a thousand articles before Settle appears and... Okay, guys, <clears throat> I actually don't know what Settle is going to say. And the reason why I don't know what Settle is going to say is because people are vaccinated. So I read the article when we were on our way home and it said that... Um, there's not going to be any stricter levels than level one. So if there's not going to be any stricter levels and we're going to be on level one, does that mean that there will still be travel? I know other countries have read listed us, but in South Africa, are we still going to be moving around? Okay, Laurel is in the stream. Good evening hey, to you, Laurel. our friend. Okay, so Laurel says, if they don't allow interprovincial, and this ties up what Roz just said, um, if they don't allow interprovincial travel, I will be spending my second Christmas alone as my family is in Joburg. Oh. Reese, good evening to you. And my Reese. Reese and Earl here, I'd just like to thank them. The cyclists did a tour. Yay. German. I think Marlon was one of them as well. Um, congratulations on your cycle, guys. Unfortunately, our day was crazy. Um, but there are a few of the cyclists, um, including Earl, that have sent us a video in support of our gender based violence campaign that we are doing. So during this week, I think it's Thursday, is our next free gap, we will be posting there. Um, Those guys are doing the most. They are doing the absolute most. Okay, um, so Theo says, last year was my soberest December. I was drinking rooibos tea on my birthday. <laughs> wow. Wow. Theo. No pine tops, pine, what they had, but we had. did we have alcohol then in December? We went to a party, come to a party there, Theo, because we were closed from when? The 26th, 28th or something. I don't know, but did we have an alcohol then? But I don't know, it's like we, they, people are drinking pine tops throughout the whole of 2020, so I don't, I don't even know myself. 
I, I don't even know what to think about this B11529 Omicron. What, what is it? Omicron. I don't know, I just got the third <laughs> Greek letter of the alphabet. Yeah? Omicron, Delta, Omicron. I don't even know. I am. Um, okay, so Melissa refused to buy a top from Charlie's for me. Oh, so. There was no alcohol banned? Maybe there was, but you know Charlie's. Oh, okay, okay. I don't know. I, I, I don't what know. the price? Woo! No, there wasn't an alcohol ban in December. I think the curfew was yes, just... Yes, we did have a drop ban. Starts at second week in December. Oh, we Oh, did. yes, so 15, 16, somewhere there. That's right. All right, I remember now. Can we just have a moment of silence for Theo that got a lot of things happening there next to his name? He's got a top fan badge. He has a sharer and some anniversary followers. So, well done to you. Um, How do you know all this? Top fan... Okay, Shayla. Dwayne, Dwayne's in the stream. Um, good afternoon, Dwayne. Hi, Dwayne. And welcome to the fan zone. Um, I don't even have all these signs that Theo has. I see Jody also got a, got some... Yes, there. I remember that, Dwayne. I remember that. We actually work with the hospitals. Well, my job, job. We, act we work. And that was the, the, like, the first year, I think, yes. that they recorded the New Year's Eve was the quietest i remember that okay so uncle marvin i'm going to read this hope it doesn't make me cry uncle marvin but anyway i know how it feels guys last year mum passed on the 23rd of december and my two brothers and their families from australia couldn't come to the funeral and they were devastated because they lost saw mum two years before she passed so me and my family know how it feels. Sad indeed. That's also another sad thing, Uncle Marvin, is that I was just, we are saying this. Um, we are at my sister's house earlier today, and we are actually saying to have someone pass away in COVID is so cold because you can't even go to the funeral. So it's limited, it's family, it's... Some family don't even get there. Some family don't even get to get there. And it's it's just not right. It's 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 not the ideal situation. It's sad. It's sad, especially for co close families. So yes, um, it's it's not it's not good. Really, really not good. Okay, so those of you who follow us, um, I did go live on Friday afternoon. Um, Roz Friday and, afternoon or Friday morning? Well, it was like quarter to twelve. It's, no, it wasn't. It, it was, was. Was it? Yeah, it was about quarter to twelve. Okay. Um, so depending on where you are in the world, it was morning. Um, Alistair was good evening. Um, and we just went live. Uh, Roz and I went to go do another tattoo. So I'm sitting at Mumbo number, Mumbo number 15. Yes. Tattoo number 15. I'm on tattoo number 15, guys. Um, it was hell so I'm not even going to lie I don't know why <laughs> <laughs> and I, I completed the shading on my arm so if you guys miss that stream then you guys can go and check it out to see what I actually had done um, that was me Rose had a personalized thing but you know you don't see any of any of her any of her goodies so yeah that was us on Friday um, we know there was a lot of talk with regards to um, Black Friday and... Did anybody participate in Black Friday? And activities and stampedes and stuff like that. Sheridan, good evening to you. There were no stampedes. No, I'm saying there was talks. Oh, guys, did anybody like go near Checkers or any of those shops? Were they even full? Because it was so dead quiet. Yeah, so let us know if you were out and about. Just tell us now what, um, what's moving in. What's moving and shaking? What yes. doesn't sound right, Theo? Yes, it's number 15 when I'm bigger when I be ink like Tony. Yay, it's so friend. Woo, it is. Tony it is. is Tony hates pain and she hates needles. She should have seen her. She was. She no, was. I'm like, ha! Ha! Okay, you can, you can stop now. I actually didn't even complete my shading because I'm like, hell to the no. No, she didn't complete her shading. She was jumping. Just, you know, like when you go to the doctor for an injection and you jump around because you're scared? That's what she was doing in the chair. In the chair. It's sore, guys. It's sore. Um, but yeah. 
Ross don't show her goodies. <laughs> oh, I don't. My goodies. <laughs> okay, so we're going to move forward. That was just a young, a uh, little bit of information for you guys. Um, so I actually was trying to access, um, trying to log you guys onto OBS because there was a picture that I wanted to show you guys. Casey, we see you there and we've got a Melissa that's just joined the stream. Good evening to you and welcome to the fan zone. Now, guys, we all know Christmas time, um, we're dealing with choice all sorts of biscuits right now. I've we got know there's certain people that like... Can I just answer Jody? What does she so say? So Jody says, um, I know I got three. Try one on your rib cage and tell me about pain. I have one in my rib cage. No, thank you. I have one, not, not my rib cage, on the side. Um, but I think the worst place that I've experienced is the pelvic bone. That bone, when the needle starts yeah, on Yeah, but you don't have meat bone. on your bone. The pelvic bone. Yeah, that, Jody, if you've had near the pelvic bone, just tell me, because now this is the <laughs> second time I've had that. Uncle, moments when I didn't participate in Black Friday, I was sitting in, at home. <laughs> it's called. I believe there was a lot of um, power outages. I don't know if you're in Greenwood Park, Uncle Marvin, but um, uh, Ants, we in a fan zone group, and Ants had said the same thing. He had no power from the night before, um, which is, was extremely weird. Theo bought tires on that Black is Friday. That's a very adult move. Adult in. Theo. Tires is exciting for me. It's not boring. It's yeah. not boring. On Black Friday to get tires, that that was a good move. That yeah, was because your heart bleeds <laughs> during the year when you have to go buy tires. You want to die. Amanda Green, we see you there. Good evening to you. Hi, Amanda. Okay, so can I come back to the choice all sorts of biscuits? Now, guys, we are all familiar with this box of all sorts of biscuits. Now, um. There was an image that I wanted to put up onto the screen if I was using OBS where each biscuit is numbered, right? Now, and we were going to just talk about if you if you are faced with this box, what what is your favorite biscuit? Can let us start there. Do you pick and choose? Do you eat it in like a sequence or do you only take the lemon creams or the ginger biscuits or the wafers or whatever the hell's in that box? Let us know now. Ross, what are you? Not picky, you just walk. None of them. The only one I'll eat yeah. in that box is the wrapped chocolate one. That's the only one. The wrapped oh, in chocolate the one. Yes. That's the only one I'll eat. And if I'm really desperate, after that, I'll have the nutty crust. But other than that, I'm not busy with um, choices sorted. It demise me when we were little. What, what was it that my... Hey, those things are expensive now, guys. Ha! Huh. Wasn't it some 200 and something a box now? I don't know if that was a... Really? I don't know if that was a, a meme or it was an actual thing or what, but... Whew, when I saw the box, the price of that box, I was like, hell to the no. I think in any, most of our households, when we were younger, a box of Choice Assorted, a box of snack time. I prefer the snack time. I can sit and nibble on the snack time, but I'm, I prefer savory. 520 and 72 ran on take a lot. Hey, hold on, take a lot. No. Do Wait, not. how many, how many cages is there? Yeah, 12. Okay, that's 12 No, that's 12, 12, yes. Okay. So, so divided by 12. Go. Okay, 2 kg is 225 then, but still. No, it's 99 then, man. That's 1 kg. This is a 2, this is a 1 times 2 kg. Okay, the one kg is going for 99 and 95. Yes, that's not expensive. It's a lot of biscuits Hell. and those biscuits you're eating in January. So it's the snack time and it's the um, choice assorted and then it's the quality streets. Yep. The quality streets. So Christmas, uh, the guys. Snack time I whoop. Guys. And even me, the snack time I make it. I can eat yeah. it just like that. I, the snack time is my thing. You could rather give me the snack time. Don't worry about the choices. So it's a plus. It's all in the box, Andre. That is unusual. I don't know a lot of people. No, no, no. Me, the people are picky and choosy. Um, snack time. If you find dip or tuna or mussels, you are in the game. You can sit with the tin and with a. Uh, uh, What's it, those little black trays? You can even just take your one tray out the box and leave, leave the big box there and you can sit and have a marvy time. A marvy time. Okay, so Emmeline likes a strawberry roll biscuit is my first choice there. Yes, I really like the snack time. Everyone likes the snack time. Snack time is the thing. 
Okay, so no one had choice to sort it on Black Friday deals. <laughs> but they're probably waiting with, with back to school is cool pencils on December. Guys, back to school, eh? You might never deal with back to school. Guys, the school are closing on 15th December. Like, what the hell? But anyway, the biscuits, remember, we had the ginger biscuits, we had the lemon. I don't lemon like the creams. ginger. We had the jam. What? Jam? What they call? The swirls. Yes. We got the wafers, swirl. we got the... This one is new. That There's that one chocolate one that's in there, that's new, what they never the had that. Eat some more. There's the eat some more and then there's the brown... That's like toppers. Yeah, the brown is like the toppers. No man, these things have changed. That chocolate biscuit wasn't okay, sorry, there before. Yeah. I'm just trying to get a grip of what we're actually talking about here. Yeah? Who's busy with the wafers? That's like, that, that thing is like a wafer. Theo, Theo, and if the wafers are stale, it's so bad. Oh, no, I'm not oh, busy with the wafers. Hell. Okay, so should I say school don't stop here in December? Wow! Overseas is, you overseas, I'm sure you said you're overseas. Yes, uh, Jay. Why? Where did should I say she? Where, 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 where are you tuning in from? Tell us, tell us, tell us. No, but that is right because oh, because they, the terms are different, isn't it? A term less? No, it's right because I know what Jade. It, it doesn't. Yeah, I know it goes. It goes over. I'm busy with the lemon creams. I can eat the ginger things and the toppers. I can whoop. That opening that red thing that Rose likes too much of a hassle. Um, I know some people that will twist the lemon lemon creams and then eat the inside creamy part and then I don't know what is going on I there. can't eat lemon creams I cannot eat lemon creams I don't know why I can't <coughs> I can't eat the jelly thing the strawberry swirl oh there we go Uncle Mark says I have it right in front of me now guys and I'm chowing the romney creams it's the first time I've had romney creams in the choice yes book. this Tony just pulled <coughs> it up on the internet and I'm looking at it and I'm saying that so many creams wasn't and was not there and the chocolate, the round chocolate ones, those weren't there. Maybe that's why we're paying so they much. They knew. Fun. And even the toppers, the toppers weren't there. Because I see they've got the chocolate toppers. No, the toppers was there. Toppers was there. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I never ate them. I only ate the red one. With the chocolate over there. Or the Nazi crust. Even eat some more. Well, eat some more in choice of sorts. No, I'm I don't kidding. remember seeing eat some more in choice assorted. Choice assorted. The ocean creatures and I are not bras. I eat it plain or a cheese. Oh, are you still talking about the Yes, snack time. Oh snack Jody. Time, like that. You must try it with muscles. Mm. Okay, so, nice. so Jody wants to know if they're adding those, what's missing? I don't know, that's what I'm trying to figure out. So well, let's see. I think these will only bring up what's in it now. We need a picture from the 1980s. Guys, well, you should remember what you, were, what you were eating. This is like a... This is part of the list. Okay, this is now. No, this is now. They didn't have Dominic creams and they didn't... These, these chocolate round biscuits only came out a few years ago. Not so, this. let's see. No, that wasn't in the choice of sorts. Guys, we're actually looking for the old choice of sorts of box, if anybody knows. Okay, so that one round biscuit with the chocolate center just tastes like a full stop. What does a full stop taste like, Theo? Okay, so Shade says she wishes for normal biscuits there. Um, I don't even know how to pronounce this. <laughs> she jazz swing swing. Are we in China? <laughs> That's what I know. Good evening to you and welcome to the fan zone. We are just unpacking a choice of sorts of biscuits. So if you Jody. remember what was in the old choice of sorts of biscuit box, please come through and let us know. So far we've got the wafers, we've got the that red um packaging on the one the way biscuits. yes. We've got the lemon creams, we've got the jam thing, we've got the ginger biscuits. Um, what else? Yes, the ginger biscuits were there. They're still there. Yeah. Were they? The ginger biscuits are not there. Uh, yeah. Here you go. Yeah. That's nutty crust. This is... Okay. That's nutty crust. It was the ginger biscuits. The ginger biscuits is one. This is not a nutty thing. This is ginger. That's a nutty crust. The ginger biscuits were round. 
That's a Nazi oh, class. Okay. All right. I thought maybe they're just summarizing the shape. Like. Jody, you my age. You you <laughs> come you will know. Come through. It's the ginger biscuit. So I think the ginger biscuit is in place of the chocolate one because the only chocolate biscuit that was there was the one in the wrapping. Omni creams is new to the family. Yes. Welcome. We welcome you. Um, lemon creams is always there. Yeah. The toppers. Gem, I think toppers waiter. were there. I think toppers were there, but you couldn't get toppers individually. Now you can get them on their own. I think toppers, but there was no Romney creams. And I don't remember Eat Some More being there. Eat Some More would have been my first choice if it was there. I don't know. You've got a memory like I do. I don't know what. I thought you would have. Uh, in fact, I actually didn't even know that this thing changed, really, to be honest. No, I one look at it. This biscuit gave it away because those biscuits are new biscuits. Okay, Sandra Elliott and Adiba, welcome to the fans on Hi, Adiba. We are unpacking choice of sorted biscuits. Now, we, to our amazement, have just discovered that ones or biscuits have been changed. So Just type from the 80s, choice of sorted in the 80s. Uh, let's see. Look now what we're doing. Ah, because they changed the biscuits. Eat some more with if all the years, yeah, okay. Were they? I don't Even remember. Amanda will come through with the... Those, but what was in play? I think the ginger biscuit. The ginger biscuit used to be there. Oh, guys, now we are searching, eh? Oh, my word. Anyway, snack time is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, snack time is the one. with biscuits under the 80s. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. And, and a tin. I so remember the, the tins. The, the biscuits used to come in a tin, guys. But we want to know what's in the tin. Hello. Okay, nothing. Yeah, the, the tin we must probably still use for sewing and all those. Hey, those tins. Those tins. All those 101 things. Guys, what is new? I mean, what is what what has been removed or replaced? I think it's the ginger biscuit. I think it's just the ginger biscuit. And the Romney creams were not there. So okay, I those think we two need to buy a box and we need to just figure out his taste. No, them. I think we need to phone bakers and say, please, can you send us a picture of what used to be? Stacey Richards, good evening to you and welcome to the fan zone. Right, guys, it is 22. Um, as you all by now should know, the president is speaking to us. Yes, oh. that's uh, no surprise. You know, we normally do curtain raises for the president. Um, it's actually been a while since we've opened up for the president. Guys, I was just saying to my daughter, was it to my daughter, to my niece, there's never been a generation that has had <laughs> so many and presidential mostly. addresses. And like, mostly. guys, when we used to watch movies and there used to be a presidential address in the movie, there was like, like for when aliens were invading the earth, right? <laughs> or when people were landing on the moon. In this last two years, we've had this so, like, the president has been on TV, like, so many times. Okay, we're going to come back to that. Jody, I'm going to read your comments. So this is all that I can find. Toppers, Nazi crust, strawberry uh, swirl, eat some more, wafer, lemon cream, and roses red packets. <laughs> eat some more are stuff. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's a most you have to have coffee with it, but you can't eat it on its own. It goes down dry. Good evening to you and welcome to the fan zone. We are talking. We are moving over to the president's speech now. But we were talking about um, choice of sorts of biscuits and what is missing, what is changed. Jody, would you it? agree with me that there was a ginger biscuit, or is the chocolate biscuit ginger covered? Is it? Ginger, no, no, come, come through there. You got the box in front of you. Please taste all those things and tell us what's going on. No, here. I'm sure there was a separate ginger biscuit. I know the ginger biscuit to be that long thing. That's nutty class, Tony. Well, I don't know. Yeah, you know, I still whoop the things. It's fine. Okay, we're moving on. And this another comment comes through about the biscuits. We're moving on to the president's speech now. Um, there was an article that went out. Um, I don't know if it was. Thank you, Amanda. Ginger biscuits were there. I don't know if um, if it was before or after that announcement came to that he was going to be speaking to us tonight. I, don't know, I think it was after, but it went on to say about something about us staying level one. Ros, just come through. Yes, that was News Twenty Four. So News Twenty Four, they said that. Um, let's see. Tony's making me look now. 
Okay, so MC's you're right, Roz. There was a round ginger biscuit because you used to eat it, but eat it because. I used to eat it myself from that box. Hmm. I remember. I remember those ginger biscuits. I remember them because you know when they're the last ones there and you really need something to have with your coffee and you're looking at the ginger biscuit but you're like, hey, but there's nothing else. But yeah, I remember that. So lockdown. Is a likely to remain on level one as government expected to move to increase vaccinations? Now, firstly, do we know? <laughs> do we know if the vaccinations protect us from B11529. Roz <laughs> <laughs> has been singing these digits. Guys, it sounds like an airplane. I am convinced. It sounds like, you know, when they're departing or they, when they're coming down and they're like seeing through that the pilot speaks to you. And Same one, like, Jody. It sounds like a, a airline. It sounds like a flight. I don't know, but anyway. No, it sounds like that character in Star Wars. Star Wars B11, what's his name? B232. Oh, 232. I don't watch Star Wars. That's what it sounds like. B11529. I feel like a little robot is going to come start <laughs> asking me what do I want if I want coffee with two sugars. <laughs> Theo says one day we're going to find Russ in that box. Hey, wait. Ooh, hold on. guys. I don't need Rusks. <laughs> so my sister bought. <laughs> my sister. A whole, I don't know what. Nation, she's feeding with so many lots. She's no, she's she filled it. She fills this jar in her kitchen, right? So sometimes it has quality street, sometimes it has marshmallows, or to D two years. Sometimes it has marshmallows. Sometimes it's got rusks, but those rusks have been there <laughs> <laughs> from the last time we were at our house. At our house, so no one's eating the rusks except my son. <laughs> So my son comes, oh, these are nice, and he starts eating them. My sister <laughs> packed up. <laughs> she emptied the bottle. Therefore, you are the one eating this. She sends him home with all the rusks. Now I'm sitting with all the rusks here. He's going to open it. The ginger biscuit has been removed from the new box. I get out, guys. That was my favorite one in the box, Uncle Marvin, man. Excuse me, was your favorite one in the box? You didn't even know. know. No, I, it was not. No. <laughs> you have no. <laughs> really. <laughs> you do that? I mean, how can they do no, that? No, your favorite one. Oh, good evening to you. Your favorite one is Nazi class. <laughs> they look the same, guys. Okay. You don't so, watch the ginger listen. biscuit. I can't understand how you think Nazi class is the ginger biscuit. Listen, man, wait, hold on. Guys. <laughs> The president did a source out of tonight. I'm stuck. We, as TJ Photography, <laughs> are hosting our annual fundraising event this Friday. So, I, oh, I don't yeah. know if Cyril or one of his parliament guys are going to be listening in on this stream because you know our stream channel, guys. We like, we got the people. Um, so, we're asking you, Mr. Cyril, please don't try anything funny during tonight's speech. I don't think he's going to try anything That's funny. I seriously, I, to say. I seriously think, guys, that there's a certain percentage of the population that is vaccinated. There's also a certain percentage of the population that has built up antibodies that have had COVID and that are not going to get COVID. So, yes, there's a percentage that is not vaccinated, but I think that the discovery of the new variant has thrown everybody off because it's a new variant. Firstly, how is this new variant deadly because it could be a new variant but it could be milder why is south africa acting like the, the like acting like they want to be prefects of the class even announcing all these things all the other countries keep quiet when they find variants they keep quiet well, course, south yeah. africa is pick me pick me <laughs> and then poof no one sees their family for christmas so yes guys um if you are in and around durban and are free on Friday, please can you come through and support us. Even if you are abroad and would like to buy a ticket or sponsor a ticket, please do, guys. Um, it's our annual thing where we just raise funds for our kids and whatever is needed with regards to TJ Photography on a whole. Um, and we just try and sponsor the guys that have been basically we're giving back to our clientele. Um, yeah, so annually, as you know, we we normally kick off our events in April, and then as the waves are coming, we had pushed it through to July. Last year, we had pushed it through, we had it in November, and 
Hey, we should have had this this twenty six. Thank you and goodbye. And now, well, we faced with with us to have it in December. Guys, to all this rage is still going on. Hey, Tammy, and welcome to the fan zone. Um, hey, Tim. Yeah. Okay, so, so, okay, Kira. Okay, so Theo, I'm for Siddle now. I don't care what he does. We puppets now, and he's pulling strings again. Okay, this variant was found in Botswana, but we identified it. Now, everyone is acting like we're the ones who pooped. Yeah, that one. You know, like we've carrying this thing all over. You know what the thing is? It's a virus. Viruses mutate. And in every single country, the virus has to mutate. But nobody's telling the world about the mutated viruses. Like, only South Africa. Like, even last year with Delta. Oh, it's called the South African virus. Remember? The South African variant. Like, what is up? And then they were looking at us funny. We got a N N Nicole Dean that's joined us. Good evening to you. Read the comment completely, please. Tony, Tony took over on the comment there. No, because you, you were... Fort washing. was <laughs> <laughs> fort washing. Okay, so so that is that is it, guys. Um, I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see. The president is announced uh, addressing us tonight at eight o'clock. Um, so we're just gonna have to take it from there. But let me tell you, this weekend the bottle stores have been packed. Everywhere is packed. We walked past one today. Mum and Dad were near one this morning or this afternoon. They said, it, out of everywhere. I think the People are scared stores, they're yeah. going to put another band. But can you buy alcohol on a Sunday? Oh, there we go. I'll say tootsie next time. That's a familiar word. Two <laughs> Tuesday. Yeah. Can we what? Buy alcohol on Sunday. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Well, it must be if tops and and Yeah, the bottles are and, open. And all that is, is Who's open. saying hi to us like that? Hi. Can you see someone saying hi? I can't see. <laughs> we'll just wave now, guys. We can't see it. It doesn't come up on our phone. It's on our screen. But, um, are we... Can I is that Nicole? Must be. Okay, so yes. So that is that is what we are faced with now at the moment. Alcohol is available oh my gosh, every day. Nicole. I didn't know that. I did not know that, guys. Nicole is, av oh, Nicole is available every day. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole, sorry. I actually did not even identify you. You've now changed your name. So Nicole, who is now recently married to Denzel Dean. Congratulations to you, my friend. I don't think I've got to see you. Um, so, yes. Yeah, alcohol will be available every day until now, maybe even tonight. We don't even know. Okay, so Lorel. The whole variant is... <coughs> the, What's going on with all that? Honestly, <laughs> honestly, we're going to have this going on forever. Funny when it was voting, COVID disappeared. Why are you looking at me like that? Funny enough, we knew. Um, With the immediate effect. Yeah, we knew that um, because they were scheming they're going to get all these people coming through to vote and whatever the case may be. And um, yeah, they just dropped the numbers to accommodate that um, voting and whatever the case may be. Um, to be honest, I expected the, the COVID cases to rise straight at least, afterwards. At least a week or two after voting, but it didn't happen. It didn't happen, and I was quite shocked that it didn't happen. And then all of a sudden, new variant, and it is the numbers went from eight thousand, from eight hundred, to one thousand two hundred, to two thousand four hundred. Like, what is that? Uh, the numbers just better hold on until you can just give us grace, please. Um, so the messages that we've been getting with regards to this function, guys, people are, are, are like... Guys, what if Siddle comes on and says, only if, you vac only if you're vaccinated, you can go out? Can you imagine a stampede to go and get vaccinated this week? Do you think, do you imagine, ima they will just create a black market for um, vaccination certificates? Like, I know one of the other countries was it Austria. Um, they went on the lockdown, but only the people that were not vaccinated were on lockdown. So you could only move around. Yeah, but they also equipped with identifying those that are and those that aren't. Like, 
Saudi or Dubai or whatever, you must scan in and it comes up with your whole status to move Oh, in into, Doha. In Doha. But Doha has a population of 2 million. Yeah, but... We've got a population of 60 million. But also they can control it there. Like, can you imagine here, yeah, guys? Um, not wearing a mask is a criminal offense, guys. And we still have people that are oblivious to that mask. They don't wear it at all. The shop still got social distancing. And when I was in Markham's earlier, there was a guy breathing on me like I wanted to die. And I'm saying to him, you need to stand there. Shame, he was very easy. He apologized and he stepped back and stuff like that. There's other people, and Ros and I have experienced it firsthand, where they start shouting at us. And this was almost like last year. I don't have COVID. I'm not saying you got COVID. I'm saying that you need to social distance. Okay, because so I might have COVID. So I want to read Antoinette Chetty's comments. Annie. And good evening, Antoinette Chetty. Hmm? Annie. Oh, hey, Annie. Okay, so I'm choosing to view the variant in the same light as the high virus. Africa has the most variations, like high. The coronavirus has no cure. It affects each one affected differently. The only difference is that they are trying to find a cure. They won't. The world is part of this trial. Finding new variants does not mean the virus is more deadly. I, that, that's what I wanted to know about this new variant. Mm. Okay, so Laurel says that is exactly what's going to happen. Okay, so is that saying like the people that are vaccinated can only move around? Okay, so Beverly just did this in the citizen yeah. travel ban. SA tourism industry loses over one billion in travel bookings overnight. Um, Beverly, my sister was booked to go to Mauritius on the 20th of December. Her husband was coming down and her and her three kids, so five of them, were booked to go to Mauritius on the 20th of December. We got up this morning and Mauritius has closed its borders for 30 days to South African travelers. So can you make, that's one person, that's one family, one holiday. So I think it's well over the billion because a lot of people were booking thinking that this year the wave is not going to be so bad. Okay, so Jody says, I saw a screenshot of an article in, the, in August 2021 where the COVID uncle predicted the fourth wave around December and went as far as saying a new variant will be found. But how? But now how to be so accurate here the 500 mega blocks are still a one okay so jody i'm going to clarify that okay so and i, and I know this because i've worked in departments and i've actually worked with that uncle so we <laughs> <laughs> i did so we worked Hi, on, we worked on the socioeconomic impacts and they worked on the medical e impacts of hiv and that was their job oh that uncle yes that was their jobs to predict Right, and you've been doing it for 40 years. So let me tell you something, the part of a virus is predictable. It's very predictable. Um, and they can tell you a lot by other viruses. There's just little, little differences. So he did predict the 2nd of December, but the, the hospitals and stuff were saying, no, it's gonna be a week later. And in, in the media, we've been hearing all of this said, oh, it was supposed to be then and it's going to be mid-December until the new variant was picked up. And that was picked up in Pretoria University, if I'm not mistaken, um, amongst a bunch of students that live on res. So things like this do happen. So it sounds coincidental and people are, are pulling strings at a lot of conspiracy theories, but the pattern of a virus is to mutate. That's the whole point of the virus. <clears throat> so yes, it does it does sound like it is, but I I work in pharmaceuticals and a few of my bosses had said the same thing, predicted the same thing. It's because when you work in the industry, the pattern is very, very similar. The thing is how we react to those patterns is a different story. And also they gave us when was it? I read in the I read the article where they projected and they gave us the worst case scenario and the best case scenario. And I was telling you that, eh? Can they you were, see, guys? I'm just quiet, eh? I, they were saying that busy. the fourth wave is not going to be so bad because there's a percentage of the population that is vaccinated. There's a percentage of the population that has had COVID already. 
And so because of that, and if more people over the certain ages get vaccinated, then the death rate won't be bad. Because of that, they were not expecting the fourth wave to be bad. The problem is, we found a new variant and the world blocks us. The whole world blocks us. But is the new variant, um, is it, how can I say, what, what it, how would this, that, does it kill you if you get it? What? What are you doing? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So yeah, there's, there's a lot. There's, there's so much. Is it, we know that there's a new variant. We know that it is more infectious. But the last article that I read about the new variant is that the symptoms are mild. So it might be a new variant, but it might not be fatal to everybody. Well, you know, anyway. <laughs> okay, done? so Jody, let's see. Read Tammy. Wait, wait, Tammy. Okay, so Tammy, I myself got a fine of 300. What is that? What, what currency is Where that? Where are you, Tammy? Where are you tuning in from? For my car in the road after curfew. Then again, we also heard only one out of four cases are recorded there. Where are you? A A D. What what is that? What currency is that? Oh, Abu she Dhabi. felt it so. Yeah, Abu Dhabi. Yeah. Okay, so Jody, I get that. I hear you. But if you can forecast a mutation of a virus, then. Why can't you already be ahead with the cure? You can't because you don't know what the virus is going to be like. It's the way TB mutated. The way TB mutated amongst the HIV patients. You don't know the virus mutates so it can live. So all different situations are different. It, 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 it kind of adapts to its environment. Um, so you can't because you know that it's going to happen, but you don't know how it's going to happen. You enjoying the ship, sir? Yeah, it's not mine, for sure. Okay, Tim is in Abu Dhabi. So what is that? What is the currency in Abu Dhabi? Um, I know Dubai is rails. Rails? Rails. I'm not sure what is the currency in Abu Dhabi. The government brings out a new variant the, every two the, to um, three months. Oh, Dedums. Dedums, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so the government brings out... Okay, so Shazia, are you one of those people that are conspiracy theorists? Come to Shazi. Mm -hmm. Now is your time to shine. Okay, there we go. Thank you. We, we Googled it. <laughs> we Googled it, Tammy. Thank you, but thank you so much for that. I'm sorry, I didn't get the abbreviation. Okay, guys, it's, it's heavy. It's like so much to think of. There's so many possibilities. There's so many conspiracy theories. There's so many things that are just happening around us. I just wish that the world... You just what? I wish that the world would have waited to see what actually happens with this new virus before they locked us out. And created panic. And created panic. Because... The moment the world locks us out and creates panic, people automatically think that it's deadly. Okay, we know that COVID is deadly to people that have comorbidities and to the elderly. But they're making it seem that if you get this B11529, you are going to die. So we don't want you in our country. People are, we, we, we're going to get our, our citizens back from other countries. How bad is this virus? How bad is this new variant? Shizzy says not really, but I feel that every two months, new variants or cases of different outbreaks will come around. And, and that's normal. There will be sporadic highs and lows. And I think, I think the lesson here learned is in between waves, we need to enjoy ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> really, guys. You've got time for drugs, eh? No, I'm serious. It's like in between the waves, we need to... Go out and do the most. And once the wave starts, then we need to sit back. We can replay this because stuff. Because basically, what, the last time we went out on Tony's birthday, the last time we had gone out before that was last year. November. November. For our function. For our function. And we were waiting now for our next function in Dulolo. I don't know. Guys, if the president says only those who are vaccinated can move without, I hope all of you coming to our function is vaccinated. <laughs> Please, guys. Please. Okay, so let's read some. 
So, Antoinette, the Hong Kong traveler tested negative on arrival, then three days or so tested positive. Okay, so Beverly, um, Elman is also in the Gulf. Oh, yes, 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 she did say. Okay, so she's in her daily, but I feel that every two months new variants or cases, different outbreaks. Uncle Marvin, but how does this virus mutate in vaccinated people? Asking for a friend. As far as I know, the vaccination does not stop you from getting infected. It just like the flu vaccine, if you do get the flu, you won't get it as bad. So the vaccination doesn't stop the infection rates, it does lower the death rate. Hey guys, I just don't want to get COVID, period. I just don't want to get it. Okay, so Theo, so why is Cyril going to say that we haven't, so what is Cyril going to say that we haven't heard before? Wear your mask, wash your, your hands. Mask. <laughs> While singing happy birthday, sanitize your hands, but don't drink the sanitizer. Alcohol is close to prevent high hospital admissions. I thank you. Good night. I think in a nutshell. Bring certificates and produce at the door. Shizzy, you make an admin. Okay, I'm not vaccinated and Shizzy I don't plan to, to use those anytime things. soon. Lidl, so, sure, but that's, you see, that's, that's like such a... Like, what happens in that case? I don't know. What is going to happen? No, we want you to come to our Read function. Read Annie's next comment. It's the same. So It's not the same, but it's uh, in response. Okay, I wish... So, Annie, I wish we truly had a choice on the vaccination. Eventually, unless you live off the land, in the farmlands, we're all going to need to be vaxxed. Unfortunately, people are moving more towards vaccination. And the thing against is... Against your belief, against what you feel. So... They say it's your choice, guys, but... It's not really your choice. In reality, it's not. Because now, if you're in a workspace, you cannot maybe even be promoted. You cannot... Have, you know, there's going to be jobs that they're going to be advertising where it says at one stage, or but one point in our lives. The Rage Festival, apparently you have to be vaccinated to be able to go to that festival. Do you think every single kid at the festival is vaccinated? No. So how do you even control that? How do you know if a person's vaccinated or not vaccinated? I mean, we all walk around with these digital certificates on our phones, but there's no pictures on there or anything. So if you have my phone, how are they, how are they gonna know that that is not your certificate? Like, like how is this even gonna work? if it is so Jan so is it still on for the third yes. we don't know yet we don't we don't know it's still on we don't know if it's if we're going to be cancelling it but right now as it stands it's still on I will sure that emotion no. she almost chopped my head off you know we one minute past <laughs> seven while you <laughs> while you munching those Doritos you're having a good time from me I'm just yeah no you have to come to our function Lorel Okay, so she's in certain jobs like the shutdown. If you didn't get vaccinated, you have to produce a test every week after six days. What? Yes, 100%. She's the, um, we got a few friends that are in construction. Bianca went to like seven tests and um, my brother, my father and my brother are in construction. Uh, maybe you've even worked with my brother and you just don't know. Guys, so... Hmm? Wait now, a test is 800 then. Do they want a rapid test or do they want an actual? Are you actual... paying for it though? They're not paying. What? Oh, Shizzy, Shizzy come through. Shizzy, are oh, you see this? So you have to get a test? Is, do they do the rapid test or do you have to have an actual test? Like, yeah, because a the test is like 850 then. Me, I'm having a good time. We're Guys, the when we're done. this is like a movie I'm watching here. You're all getting excited. With no, this. we have to get ready for settle. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> well, you, you, this you gonna be no. Pay. They want this gonna be test. no chips. So a proper test. So what? That's like eight hundred and fifty then. And now they're swabbing the nose and the throat same time. Hey, don't talk with food in your mouth. <laughs> 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 Did anybody even hear what Tony said? Because <laughs> she was screaming, plus she had a whole lot of chips in her mouth. <laughs> You're just jealous. I'm not jealous. Wait, I'm trying to calculate. 
I'm trying to calculate every two. Okay, so not daily, but every two months, new videos. Okay, Shizzy, wait. I'm trying to see. Shizzy, can't you phone us? Can't we phone you? Just please, just bring you on the screen here. Yeah. Talk to us about your. How many tests have you? Oh, you okay, yeah. so every week. So it's every week. So it's eight hundred and fifty then a week. So if you're going on a job and you're getting paid fortnight and you have to subtract eight hundred and fifty in a week, is it worth it? Shizzy is paying for his vaccinations, uh for his for his rapid tests. You are no, no, no. Lol every week after six days. Yes, that's weekly. <laughs> every week oh, that's weekly. Huh. Every week, six, a week is damn seven days, Shizzy. Are you done? You, you, no, he's pulling our leg, Tony. Okay, How so. About he's serious. Okay, so Theo, my company is about to make all unvaxxed um, PCR tests twice a week at your own cost. And you can't choose the in-house gym or common area. Shizzy, you were with Tyler, because you also got vaccinated in Secunda. I'm telling you, you were my brother on that shop. I don't know where you are or what you were doing, but that was not so long ago. Oh, that was when Shizzy was when 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 um we were we were on Zelo and they started their dieting in Amgeni. Oh, you remember when Shizzy was Shizzy came on and I said I was so. <laughs> Shizzy! <laughs> I'm helping you. <laughs> Shizzy, you will not believe what happened that morning. I was on Zello. I was on Zello. And even they started calling in and asking. I phoned Tony and I said, Tony, please come on, get on Zello. This is a story, this is what's happening. I will dispatch for you. Tony said, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Tony went to sleep. <laughs> and she left me. When I heard your voice, I was like, oh my God, thank the, thank you, Shizzy is here. But anyway, yeah, that's, but you were in Secunda then, I think. You was in Secunda then? I think with Signal. Okay, guys, seriously. Hey, but it's almost table seven. You're not even saying anything. You're just here yeah, watching me whoop these chips. We are going to say goodnight to you. It is, yeah, it was August. My brother was also August. September time, but... You might have been on the same plant as you. Okay, so guys, we spoke about food and how you eat and stuff. So, did you see, Tony? Did you see the second of the finger? Did you see? I hope you took notice of this. <laughs> They're my friends, man. They're my friends. <laughs> okay, guys, we are going to say goodnight to you. We are going to catch you guys 7 o'clock. I'm um, saying 7 o'clock. 6 o'clock. Um... Thank you, eating the chips like the last up. I told you, when Tony eats, she just let me tell you, my sister <laughs> made the honey. <laughs> Why now? What is Roseanne doing? My sister made the honey. I think Tony ate equivalent to a, pot, a medium pot of the honey. <laughs> but there was mango, my sister made your mango pickled chilies. And what else was there, Tony? Mango pickle, curry chilies, lime pickle was even there. There was oh, all of this, but Tony shared one helping. I dished up first. And I dished up a nice, you know, a portion that if you're still hungry, you can go back for your second thing, your second plate. I think my sister thought so Tony eating this like it's the last supper. She must have thought your Tony is hungry. <laughs> so when she dished up for Tony, I even went, are you going to hey. eat all of that? Yo, she had a mini pot of brioni, guys. Oh, a mini pot of brioni. But nevertheless, I enjoyed my food. Chayani, if you're still here, thank you for your chicken curry. Uh, chicken it wasn't brioni, chicken curry, sorry, it was brioni and macaroni. Okay, guys, we are, it's 10 for 7 now, seriously, we're saying goodnight. Now, before you start talking about other things. Look how they're laughing at me now. Hey, you know, you guys. Um, We are going to catch you guys 6 o'clock on Wednesday. Yes. For Let's Talk with the Fan Zone. Hopefully we are going to have our guest. That's We're going, going to, to have a feature that's going to speak to us about... Um, it's, all, it's someone that's also um, running a campaign 
um, in conjunction with 16 Days of Activism. And she, she works and deals with women that have experienced abuse and gender-based violence. So we're hoping that she's going to be able to come on to our show on Wednesday. We were actually wanting to get her on the Wednesday that passed, but obviously we didn't get a chance. So I think, guys, it'll be an interesting listen. Um, she's an advocate. So it'll also be a case of information and tips and where you need to go if you need something. But what we did speak about last week, and I want to also carry it out. If anything, let's just be aware of our friends and of the situations, because there are signs. There are signs that we see and we ignore. There are signs that, um, little signs that we think, oh, it's nothing, was a once of thing. But it could have been a once of thing in front of company, but something that happens a lot behind closed doors. So let's How just... How did lovers creep in here? Yeah? Hello, lovers. Congratulations. Hey, hey congratulations. Um, guys, yeah, I was, I was like talking. Sorry. I got so yes, to... yeah, I, I saw that. So I think maybe let's just be aware of, uh, and the one thing that I liked this morning, um, Tony, Tony posted on the fan zone, a mum and son with stop gender-based violence. And I think that sends such a positive message, a mum and a son. And it's what better way to get our sons and our little kids involved from now. And I thought, uh, when, I, when I looked at the message, and I obviously know who the person is, I thought, this is such... A strong message, a mum and son. That is, it is. Stop gender-based violence. We need to teach our kids, guys. We just need to teach our kids from now that it's not okay. It's not okay to be abusive in any, any way. Um, so, yeah. So we hope that we get more pictures through, more pictures of little boys and their dads. Well, and we so we can post it. Ladies, yes. come through with your pictures. We do run... A few features on the fan zone. Uh, Monday is, is Man Crush Monday, and we cannot have Man Crush Monday without a Woman Crush Wednesday. Um, those are our two main focuses on the page, but we also have Tuesday. Um, what are you choosing today? Happiness, joy, peace, whatever the case may be. There's also Throwback Thursday and Flashback Friday. But um, send it to us, guys. It's, it's, it would be awesome for our listeners to come on board and we can us we can this. even post the times in the day yeah so we're not uh restricted to 16 images for the 16 days but send us your images we are going to post it the more we make people aware the more people the people need to see it to be aware of it so let's do it guys last week sunday just a quick one before Roz and i bounce uh last week sunday we did echo that we are as some people are getting down we are getting down and this is like our planning time as well so between Roz and myself we try and set out our calendar for the fan zone so we look at 2020 well what are we 2021 what works what didn't work and we move forward planning 2022 um over this so it will run we start already and it will run until like early jan if there is anything um that you guys would like us to touch on, that you guys would like us to speak about, that you guys would like us to raise awareness about, maybe you involved in uh, lupus or um, involved in some mental health thing, anything, you just want to share your story with us, please let us know now, guys, because if you have followed us during this year, especially, we try and touch on things in the month that it's actually happening. So cancer will always be in October. Um, autism will always, always be in, in April. April. Mental health is done in May. May. Um, and there's a few other things. Those are our three of our main main focuses, our main campaigns, our main um, projects for the year. But uh, should you want to speak, we also speak about depression as well. It, it leads off from mental health. Um, so guys, come drop us a message. It can be anonymously. Um, or maybe you can you want to share your story with us, but you don't want to, us to tell you who you are on the stream. We do make provisions for that. So if or if you know about certain projects that you guys do at work and you think it would tie up with the topics that we have spoken about, or you think it would be good for us to come on board and assist you guys to spread out a message, to spread out something, to join talk the to campaign, us, to join the campaign, talk to us. Maybe we can even while your work or while your cycling club or hockey. Um, or cricket 
team is doing something, we could be there, we could interview one, two people, tell us what you guys are about, and maybe just stream from there. We are easy like that. Um, so yes, that is it. That is us. It's now quarter past seven, guys. You've had we us now. We got forty five minutes for settle. You've you've had us now for an hour and thirteen minutes. minutes. We hope that uh, we're not gonna. It's not gonna make up for missing Wednesday show, but excuse me. We hope that your fill has been filled now up until Wednesday. So we will catch you guys Wednesday. If the lady is unavailable to speak to us, we will still stream like normal. Mm -hmm. um, we will sort out ourselves and we will catch you guys. At six o'clock for Woman Crush Wednesday. What the fans are, guys. Good night. I really Play a song, Tony. I cannot. I really, this one just likes to irritate me. You know, I was you know cooling down. I'm boiling in here, by the way. Um, see, I lost my train of thought now. Play guys, song. I hope. I hope so it'll come through with some good. <laughs> never ever going to be good news, but anyway, as it stands. The function for the 3rd of December held by TJ Photography is still going according to plan, right? Tickets are pre-sold um, or even book it and you can sort out EFT payment, whatever the case may be, but you need to do that by like Friday morning at the latest. Okay, if by any chance Ros and I take a decision to postpone it, then maybe by tomorrow afternoon at the latest, Tuesday morning. It will be announced on TJ Photography page. Right, we are out. Look, it was so nice to see you after so long. Right, guys, we are out. Later, faders. <laughs>